What's up, YouTube? Isaac Strain here. Let's talk about some Dogecoin and jump in and do some technical analysis. Uh, this is going to be a quick video. I'm not going to do much else but TA on this one. Um, just notice some stuff on the charts previous to where we're at right now, and going to give you guys some time frames that stuck out to me. Um, so, yeah. I'm using a measurement tool here. And what I was noticing is back here when we first had our little run up you'll notice that we you know I'm not including one at the week I'm talking about like once we hit our high we consolidate and then we run up again that's what this basically is looking at right here and if you look at it this one right here the first time it happened well not the first time but the first time majority of the investors got involved in were towards you know mid late 2020 and it took about 134 days for that to happen and then now if you come over to this next one this is the one before we had the huge run up to 74 cents. Uh, you'll notice it's at 73 cents. Now, remember, I didn't include all this one over here because this was basically a failed kind of, because it wasn't really a bull run yet until we hit right here. And 73 days, I mean, that's how long it took for us to consolidate and basically have another bull run again, which we had again, which that's what we're looking for. Remember, we're, we're looking for dips and rips. That's all we're looking for. So every time we do the dip and the rip, this is what we're looking at, 73 days on this one. And then the other one was at 134 days, but we cut this time in half. Now, now if you look at where we're at right now, we're barely at 59 days, okay? After, you know, we had this huge rip, and then now we're dipping until we consolidate again. And it's probably gonna take another, probably anywhere between 75, 80 days more, 75 to 80 days is where we should probably, you know, drag this one out to just like it just did this last time, which would put us somewhere right around here. Somewhere around here now, if you notice, that we have been on a downward trend yes we've had these little kind of these little false breakouts which they're not false breakouts they're actually you know keeping us from you know falling completely down and losing all our steam like we are we are stabilizing and okay it's not all erratic we're not just jumping everywhere and this is only the 12 hour one it's not the day and you'll you'll notice that yeah the 16 this 16 cents is probably one of the major levels of support that we are all looking at but I don't see us test. I mean, if we do test it, I mean, it, it'll come very, very soon. But I honestly don't think it's going to come that soon. And we are already basically, we're just going to continue down this trend right here with this as our major resistance until we hit this area right here where once we're able to, once the bulls are able to take over. Because right now we're in bear territory. And everybody was talking about kind of potential bear traps we've been seeing. Um, I don't really believe in those things. Uh, so first time tuning in don't forget to subscribe smash that like and come follow me on Twitter I'm gonna make this one a quick short simple. That's what I'm looking at and I'm out